This is a short clip from today's podcast episode. So tell me, Ryan, how do you target these high-end areas? What kind of marketing do you deploy? So it's a good question. We have multiple different strategies going on at the same time because we have three different locations and our target audience is slightly different and the, the architecture of the area is very different. So here in Buford, where our headquarters are at, it's extremely saturated. We have a lot of garage door companies here. All of them you know, do very well at the digital game, which I'm really good at as well. But if you have a pie in Buford, that pie is going to be split up 30 different ways. And you know, if you want more of the pie, you got to eat someone else's and it becomes very expensive, right? So what we decided to do is take a different approach in the Buford area. We want to try to get people before they go online because it's so hyper competitive online here. Mm. And our cost of acquisition for customers were going up. Our revenue was staying steady. So we decided to take a more branding approach. So now what we're doing in the Buford location is we're doing billboards and more of a brand approach. So that's working. Well, we just started in January. So I wouldn't say it's working. I would say it's a long-term commitment that we've committed to. And we're just going to keep playing that game because we feel like that's the right approach. We're not losing any ground. We're still doing similar numbers that we were before. So we're playing the organic game online and then the billboards offline. And then we bought lists, a client list. So square footage, price of home. We hooked up with Modern Luxury Magazine and we do a lot of ads and events with them. Right. We network with interior designers, architects through there. We were just at an event with them last night, actually, and won an award through them. And so when all said and done, we're doing like a lot of direct mail to exactly to our customer, which is a lot more affordable than a blanket approach. Mm-hmm. And we do very little AdWords. So we don't, we don't like AdWords because it's based on my case studies in the past. AdWord customers tend to go back to AdWords instead of coming back to me. So I want customers who don't want me because of a coupon or because they were in a rush and they're just trained to click the top. I want people who are intelligent and do their research and look for quality. And so that's, you know, we give up a lot to get that. But although we we went half the jobs in 2021 over 2020, we doubled our revenue. And some of that was due to like material cost, but we defined our customer and really honed in. And, you know, we do, we went from $2,000, 2,200 average per door sale to now we're over $10,000 per wow. door sale. That's impressive. So just doing those strategies, I think has helped out a lot. So that's nice. our, that's our Good main work. focus. And congrats on the award. Thank you.